Hello Taurus, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. I'd like to jump into a recovering energy check for my gorgeous bulls. Um, hey guys, I'm still not even right and 100% because I'm still in agony with my back, but um, I am here. I've had a little bit of a recharge. Um, thank you to all of you guys that have had patience, that send nice emails. Those of you that feel the need to fucking chase me, yeah, or email me, or ask me anything whilst I've let you know that I've not been well. And I don't work for any of you lot. <laughs> let me make that fucking clear, yeah? So, um, all of you that have had lovely patience, that trust the divine timing of things, and don't expect... You know, you know what? It's... Not being over entitled. Those of you that have not felt over entitled to my time, to anything of me, you guys are my people. Those of you that have felt over entitled, get fucked. Yeah? <laughs> However, come on in, guys. Come on in, in, in. So, I'm going to do a juicy reading because it's been a minute. So, let's get your postcard from Spirit. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. By all means, unsubscribe as well. Do you know what I mean? By all means, do so. Quality over quantity over here. Um, honestly, some, like, you'd be surprised how fucking rude some people can actually be. Do you know what I mean? Like, and they've got the nerve to project onto me. And get away with yourselves. Let's get a message for Taurus. So if any of you lot have been feeling like, you know, you've got a lot of over-entitled people around you, like, you don't owe no one nothing. Yeah? I most certainly don't. No one does. No one should feel entitled to anyone's anything. You know, more than they actually should be. Like, needy people. Like, bad needy, needy, needy people. Like, they need to work on themselves. So maybe you lot have been dealing with that as well. Do you know, no one knows what goes on behind closed doors. No one has a clue what goes on behind closed doors. I don't plaster my private life all over my social media. And I most definitely don't plaster it all over YouTube. So, if you're one of the same Taurus and you've got people around you that are just out to drain you, to be honest. It's like, what the fuck do you bring to my table? For you to demand so much from me. And time is just as expensive. So, listen, if you've got people around like that around you... Get the fucking scissors out. Get the scissors out, Taurus. You may have already been doing so. You know, setting boundaries, yeah? It pisses a lot of people off because then they can't benefit from you, can they? Uh, however, I'll stop ranting. Thank you. But let's see what we've got. Okay, Taurus, dearest you. You have a unique purpose and destiny that only you can fulfil. But first, you need to know that destiny isn't a destination. You don't arrive at some special place where, poof, you're perfect and happy all the time. It's about establishing and firming up a commitment to a certain experience, whatever the form that takes. Your soul knows what you need to experience. Your destiny is to be present to all of life's adventures, to discover your talents and full potential through allowing the inspiration to lead you and to risk standing apart from the crowd and to listen to your soul. You are special as much as you are also paradox paradoxically one with the world, individual yet part of a great whole. Both truths have led you to this moment where we are saying that you are on the right track. Even if your ego self doesn't see that, listen to your soul, check in with spirit, keep going. Spirit loves you, life loves you, we love you. Guys, I knew you needed that. Okay, so even surprisingly, what I'm getting, even because my rant means something, I don't always come on the channel and rant at all. Um, I try my hardest not to because I don't like being negative, do you know what I mean? But listen, this is my channel for one. I don't work for you for two and don't feel entitled to my time. So I feel like you guys have been going through situations with people where they've just been completely, true colours are being exposed, right? And it's not nice. A lot of you have possibly given far too many benefits of the doubt. And that can be down to your ego. You want someone to be you. You want someone to be who you want them to be, but they're not. 
And maybe that's been happening quite a lot in different settings, scenarios, situationships, relationships. You can't make someone be who you want them to be. Yeah. That can be down to our ego. A lot of you are realising this and cutting a lot of shit off. And it's by listening to your soul. So, you know, allow it. Allow it to be different. I don't give a fuck what I say. If you don't like what I'm saying, don't listen. Do you know what I mean? Don't be scared to say how you feel. Don't be scared at risk of losing someone. Because if you know your boundary, confirmation. Your boundary that you have to set for your own well-being, mentally, physically both. You setting that boundary, if it pisses off somebody and if they don't like it, there's a reason for that. There should be nothing but supportive of your boundaries because it's for you. Your boundaries are there for you, for your protection. So whatever you've done recently, Taurus, boundary setting or whatever, take it, it resonates. You've had people around you that are not too happy about it. So fucking what? If you've had to take some rest or whatever, if you've had to do something for yourself and you've been possibly been called selfish for it, get the scissors out, snip them fuckers off. Snip them away. You don't need the negativity. And maybe you've been, you know, you've, you've been exposed to a lot of people and things like that around you. Making you stand in, making you stand in your truth. Do you know what I mean? Say, say what you think. Say what you think always. Always. But that's just my opinion. You know, let's get some messages for Taurus. Look, you're going through some journey. Oh, look, as if, as if. I just wanted to show its ugly little face. So you are, you're dealing with manipulators, users, fucking puppet masters, drainers, vampires. You, you, you're getting mid. You know, a lot of people are being, and situations are being revealed to you. And a lot of them are shit. But it's for your benefit, for your highest good. Oh, and there's so someone here. As always. Oh, someone that you've ended things with is a... Uh, what the bloody hell? Why? Uh... <laughs> oh, it could be someone new. And they're going through their own little ending and transitions. Um, Take it as it resonates. Look, you're growing, you're learning. You're learning a lot of lessons. And half the time, learning lessons is ugly. It's not nice. Dealing with malicious people... Like murky thoughts, yeah. Could be seen 33 quite a lot, kind of, um, which is crazy, also a six, which is the good leader. So it's like dealing, noticing people through the air, it's opening your eyes, realizing that people are nine times out of ten only out for what they can get. So <laughs> don't be scared if you end up cutting a lot of people off and feeling like you've not got much left because you'll find your right people. You absolutely will. And I feel like a lot of you are going through that process. Oh, yeah, something about your home is going to go great, Taurus. Um, you're on the right path as far as your home is concerned. Some of you could be selling one and you're going to get a lot of money, abundance. Um, there's a lot of blessings over your home, put it that way. Especially for those of you that are moving. Love that. I will claim that. Um, someone really wants to know where you live also. Show me messages for Taurus, please. I know that was a little bit of a rant, so let me know if you're still here. <laughs> if you're still watching, eight minutes in. Um, maybe hopefully relevant rants, but... <laughs> if anyone wants to timestamp it, by all means do so. Well. Show me messages for Taurus, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, yes, of course. Place the sign in your birth chart anywhere you like. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Find messages in here for you. Cross watchers, always welcome. I encourage that shit. Flip the rolls as you see fit, guys. Do what you need to do with the messages, but don't force them to fit if they're not for you. Okay. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Success in love. Some of you could have met someone. Some of you that are going through, you know, if you're feeling like isolated, like you can't, you've, you've got no one left kind of thing in whatever way, it's because divine intervention, time moments like your best, it's black canvas time. 
And especially those of you that have ended a relationship, it's because something new is about to come in. Whoa. Wow, lovely. A lot of money. 11, 11. You're on the right path, guys. You are. I know sometimes them paths, wow, you, a lot of synchronicities. 11, 33. Signs around you everywhere. Um, as much as it's easier to believe otherwise, because life's shit sometimes. Fucking not everything's nice and comfortable. It's not. Um, but you trust that you're on the right path nonetheless. Especially when it comes to dealing with dickheads. <laughs> People being exposed to you through the air, as shit as it is, and as shit as it feels, it's for your highest good. And I just feel like a lot of you have gone through that process, maybe, recently. Um, some of you have been dealing with a complete liar with an illegal situation. Again, puppet master, someone very manipulative, narcissistic, controlling, demanding. If this isn't legal, it's like karma. You've been dealing with a lot of dickheads. The time is about to be done, and, and some of you are still going through it. Do you know what I mean? Still cutting off those that no longer serve your situations that no longer serve your because they're just out to get what they can get. But a lot of you have already dealt with this and you'd still, you know, it's all complete and new journeys are about to begin. I hope this is all making sense. Some of you are going to be meeting someone. Some of you have already met them. Let's get some more. It's like love's next. Whatever that means. Love's the next thing that's coming in, basically, is what I'm getting. Someone's thinking about you. Someone's already got their eye on you as well, for a lot of you. Um, thinking about you very sexually. You find you so attractive. Honestly, maybe it's... Whatever you're going through, Taurus, as difficult as it may feel, it's as it should be. I hope you can try and... 12, 12 on the clock then, as I say that. I hope you can find some kind of peace in that, whatever the situation is that's made you... Made, you know? Yeah. Honestly, some, you've also got a connection with someone that's going to be very protected. So some of you have found it now already. And for some of you, it's still coming in. And when it does come in, you're going to be very protected. Don't be don't be afraid to stand alone. Stand, you know, apart from the crowd. Different. You've been called to do something and be somewhere. Do it. Privileged lady. Go on. <laughs> very Nine of Pentacle energy. Um... Wow, some of you are coming into money, abundance, very soon. And even still, if this isn't like literal physical money and assets or anything of that kind of sort, like a new job promotion, those of you that that's not the case, it's just about being reminded that you're on the right path. You know? Your abundance will be coming through. Keep going. Mm. Some of you have met someone new at work. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus, please, spirit. Okay. Oh, shit. Right. Right, there's someone that can't move on from you. They can. Maybe they've tried. They can. Look, imprisonment, main male, distant horizons. They can't move on. They can't let you go. They don't want you to let go of them. They don't want you moving on from them. They could be stuck, trapped elsewhere. Someone could be in jail. Someone could be at a distance. Whatever. It's like... Can't move on from you at all. So a lot of you know who this person is. Or if this is someone brand new, they've just come out of something recently themselves. In whatever, whatever that could be. And still finding like... They're still finding the way, if you like. Show me more, Taurus. Okay, we've got card number six, mature woman. Okay. Someone's coming, someone finds you very attractive. You could be older, someone could be younger than you, doesn't have to be. But it's like your energy, it's you're very mature, very wise, very hierophant like. Um, amongst them thinking of you sexually as well, so it's like. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's like the, the vibe that you give off. You're very mature, very grown.
but sexy as fuck. Right, those of you that are going through a legal situation, especially when it comes to do with, you know, something to do with a child, um, do not let it get you to this point of being drained because listen, you, you're okay. It's, something's gonna come okay. Could be seeing 777, 1111. You're on the right path. Yeah, listen, whoever this thief is, they're not gonna get away with it. Someone's trying to take something that's, that's yours. Be greedy, be selfish, and it could absolutely be to do with a child for a lot of you. They won't get away with it. Mm. Let's get some of the oracles. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation on meeting. Okay. Someone also wants your kisses a lot. Let's get messages for Taurus. You know, I always say anyway, your ascension journey never finishes, if you like. You always, you know, there's always more surrendering to do. There's always more more ascending to do. That's what I feel like I've done as well for the past week. Um, so basically, I got to the, I got, my body got past the point. I, I couldn't consume anything. I could, well, I couldn't keep anything in. My body was just rejecting everything. My body doesn't deal with stress very well. No one knows what goes on behind closed doors. So don't assume to know everything about somebody. Like, I thought I was dealing with my stuff. All right, apparently not. My body told me otherwise. So it got to the point of day three. I couldn't even keep water in and I hadn't done. So I was getting pins and needles in my hands and my feet and I was getting cramps in my hands and my feet. It was awful. I was very, very, very seriously dehydrated. So I had to go to hospital. Um, tried riding out at home like you do because you've got kids. But I had to go to hospital. But then that was the start of it. And it, after that point, it was like ascension. I was so dizzy. I couldn't focus like my head was just constantly spinning it was crazy to explain and also only those of you that have been through ascensions will understand what i'm saying and those of you that don't don't be so fucking blind to think that you know it all about people because you don't do you know what i mean so then email me and give me shit um you're still on your journey you still got a lot of work to do clearly but i had like shimmering it's like broken glass in my eyes my eyes were so shimmery i was seeing like triangle lights it was mad um so nothing other, nothing other than ascensions and for my highest good absolutely but you guys have probably been doing the same in some kind of way everyone's on a different timeline but you're going through the motions and just trust yourself trust the divine have faith let it empower you find the lessons throughout do you know what i mean don't let anyone, don't let anyone feel like they can take from you. Because they can't. Can they fuck? They'll try. I'm not saying for a minute no one will try. Because you can't control other people. And unfortunately, some people don't awake. Don't, some people just never wake up. So they will continue on that shit path that they've always been on. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes people can't, they can't ascend. Um... They cannot, for the life of them, raise the frequency. Do you know what I mean? So you can't control that. Let it go. Let them go. Um, you're always going to have people come and attack you, attack you in that way. It's just how you respond. Do you know what I mean? And um, and that's not, you know, being the bigger person by keeping your mouth shut and all that. That's bullshit. Some people need calling to attention. Yes, they do. I don't know why I'm so ranter. Maybe you are as well, guys. But, yeah. <laughs> There's a soul connection here. Some of you are going to get proposed to. Honestly, someone that treated you like a one-night stand or, you know, like you was nothing, treated you like you was nothing, they're going to be reaching out to you. They've got... They've got some kind of proposal for you in some kind of way. You keep being abundant and very self-indulgent as well. Like, those people as well that call people selfish for doing them. Like, why? Why are you, why are you jealous? You do you too, boo. You know? It's like your life doesn't revolve around anyone but yourself and who you choose it to revolve around 
anyone else outside of that can fuck off. Do you know what I mean? They don't don't feel like don't let anyone feel like they're entitled to your to your energy, to your time, to whatever. Um mm. I'm gonna shut up about it now. Messages for Taurus, please. Okay, we've got cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events. Oh, and then we've got hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options. And then we've got ascending, coffin, and Cupid's arrow. Okay. So embrace the ascension process that you're going through, Taurus, as crazy as they can be sometimes. Um there's a risk that you're going to be asked to be taken or you're going to, some of you have got to take a risk to ascend or someone's taking a risk to come towards your ascent, you whilst ascending and it's going to be a rebirth, but that's Cupid's arrow. So there's some kind of out of your control reconciliation that's going to be attempted. Yeah. Someone is stuck replaying an event like beyond belief that cassette is hitting imprisonment. Um, so some, this main male, whoever this is, they're going over and over and over and over and over and over again. A certain event. And for some of you, it's whether they should take a risk. It's like they're constantly thinking of the outcome. Or, yeah. You're kind of unaware, <laughs> is what I'm going to say. You're quite unaware. Someone's preparing to come towards you, though. Someone wants to jump towards you. Someone that you've moved on from, grew from, ended things with, sent you through a transformation. They're going to be shooting their shot. <laughs> They're going to be shooting their owls to you. I have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Someone that's been quite hesitant to reach out. Someone that made you feel like you was just one of many. Do you know what I mean? Strung you along, gaslighted you, love bombed you. Could have been married. Or in another relationship, they're gonna be re someone's gonna be like you know that they're thinking about you a lot. Don't know how much you're gonna care though. You're being told to keep a positive mindset because you you are and can manifest exactly what it is that you want. So make sure it's all positive, guys. There's no I know no one likes to really admit it, but the negative does manifest as well. Let's get Taurus's energy. Someone's been looking at your ass. Someone's been staring at your ass, Taurus. Male or female? Someone's been looking at your booty. Could be a Leo. The sun. Is it, that, is it Anne Marie who sings that song, Issues? Because I've got issues and one of them is How Bad I Need You. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it's on the room. Let's get Taurus's energy, please, spirit. Let me know if these messages are making sense, guys. I love you all so much. Like, share, comment, subscribe. The magician. Okay, look, you're powerful. You're such a powerful manifesto, and after you don't necessarily believe it. So, you know, just keep them positive. Someone's dealing with spilt cups. Someone's going through an emotional roller coaster over you. It's not you, it's someone going through an emotional roller coaster. Oh my god, the king and the queen of cups there. Oh, uh oh. So you're manifesting your person, and this person is that showing up is someone that was non committal in the past. Someone that could have rejected you, made you feel rejected. You've not spoken to him for a while, it could be a Virgo. No, there's been no communication there. The Hermit and the Five of Pentacles, that's straight up ghosting. No contact. Bloody hell. Show me Taurus's energy, please, spirit. Thank you. Oh, the devil. The devil. We're dealing with a Capricorn. Mm, someone can get out their own head. They can't. 
at all. Two of Wands. It's about someone's not made very much, you know, healthy choices in the past. They've not. They've not. Even whilst dealing with you, even that choice wasn't necessarily healthy. Take that as it resonates. Show me more, please, for Taurus. Someone is like, someone feels very guided towards you, massively. Could be a fire sign. Show me Taurus's energy, please. The Eight of Wands, communication's coming. Someone's just deciding on what the fuck to say. Someone could be getting advice off somebody else on what to say to you, how to approach you, how to ask you out, how to get your attention. Show me Taurus's energy, please, Spirit. Some of you in Venus, what do you need to see? Four of Swords, what to come out then? <laughs> it's like, type the message, delete it. Type the message, delete it, because they're trying to work out what they're saying. Show me Taurus' energy, please. The Nine of Cups. Okay. Wish fulfillment. Wish granted. Someone's getting their hair done. <laughs> Someone's gonna got a blow dry. Someone's got some volume going on in that hair. Someone needs to be recognized. The five of swords. Someone that's wanted you but held back. You've had shit going on elsewhere. There's been like, they've dealt with everything but you <laughs> in, their, in their fucking, whatever's going on with them. Whatever that could mean. It's like they kept you, they kept your sword wrapped up and they've been dealing with shit over here, shit over here. One more. Thank you. The Hierophant. Could be dealing with another Taurus. Okay. So again, Ascension. Like where the mature woman is as well. So you're doing something very right. The way that you're handling a situation, more than one situation, you're doing something very right. Someone wants to come and tell you something that they should have told you a while ago. Basically, they could be getting advice from other people or just really, really, really trying to work out what to say. They don't want to come across like too devilish. Do you know what I mean? They don't want to come across that way. But they're very, very, very ridiculously attracted to you. Like... We're dealing with the Leo, the sun at the bottom of the deck. There's happiness, the happiest card in tarot, the chariot. You're moving forward, determined, focused. Quite self-involved at the mate Taurus is what you are. And that's not a bad thing, okay? Could be dealing with a cancer. Someone's watching you though. There's someone in your energy that you it took ages to find and then you really wanted to invest in them. Whatever happened, I don't know, but that person is here. That's who this is. Let's clarify. But they could have treated you, treated you like an option, like a choice. Caused you emotional confusion. Emotional doubt. Yeah, you was they left you feeling what the fuck? What's just happened there? Am I, like, was that just all me? A lot of you have got so many options around you as well and you just don't want any of them. Mm. Keeping yourself guarded from all of the potential options that you've got, your suitors that you could have around you, messaging you. Like, you're keeping yourself very guarded from them. Someone also wants to like doesn't like the idea of you having choices and the the thought of you, you know, exploring them. Someone really doesn't like the thought of that. 
So, because you've moved on now, someone's walking towards you. That's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> I see it quite often, to be fair. It's normal the way. Someone that could refuse to take account. Someone that... You ever, like, just got off and you probably never spoke to them again? They're coming back in. Yeah. Some of you could be dealing, dealing with two people. Are you going to be? Show me this devil, please, for Taurus. Okay, the King of Cups. Listen, someone is madly in love with you. The King of Cups with the devil, that's a lot of love. A lot, a lot, a lot of love. Someone's ready to come and fight for you. Um, don't know if you're going to ignore them. Or they're going to ignore all of their don't do it don't do it because maybe there's a lot of that going on as well maybe there's people around them that are saying don't do it don't know what that means to all of us but they're going to be ignoring them nonetheless whatever conflict or chaos arguments fights competition is surrounding this relationship this situation this king of cups energy and the devil it's like fucking hell you could have multiple people that don't want you two to be together but that's being ignored whatever that means it's being completely ignored you could be dealing with a cancer, uh, cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. Someone wants you and they don't care. Oh, yeah. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh. Yeah, they do. 31, 31 on the clock. Oh, my. Listen, you deserve this. Some of you have waited a while, you know. You're getting it. You're getting it. Could be with a Sagittarius. Sorry, I'm there. But it's like your your intuition with the um with Pisces with the high priestess, your intuition is telling you just carry on. If you've got it, don't ever doubt your intuition. You know I've not said it for a while, but it's your first thought, your, your very first thought, your first go to, before your ego takes over, or your emotions take over, your head or your heart. It's where you go before they get involved, and it's always your initial thought. It's just we then talk ourselves out of it rapid, and we're kind of programmed to do that as humans. It's only, again, the ones that are going through the awake awakenings that have got the strength and the ability to be able to ignore the ego and the emotion side of things to actually stay focused on the intuition. If you've got someone that you are that you can intuitively say, I know it, I just know. Yeah, you're absolutely fucking right. If you know that someone is madly in love with you, you're absolutely right. They don't have to be acting on it. And it doesn't lie. They're going to be doing soon. It's like, so you're just telling yourself, just carry on. Just keep growing, keep learning, keep ascending, keep raising your vibrations because it's all going to come good and you will be getting a message from them. You're absolutely correct. Show me this two of ones, please, for Taurus. Okay. Have you stopped feeding? You've stopped feeding this person. Attention, money, time, focus, anything. Shoes on the other foot. They don't like it. They don't like that. So here they come. Taurus. So you know all the questions that you had from there. I'm ready to answer. Could be dealing with the Leo. Someone that pushed you away. Didn't give you enough. There was no reciprocation. Reprisitosity. Repri. Recipri. Yeah, anyway. It wasn't reciprocated. The effort that you put in, yeah, kind of wasn't, it was taken advantage of. There you go. So she's on the other foot now because you've taken yours away. It could have been like gaslighting. There was an imbalance somewhere. And it's now shoes are on the other foot now because you're in that strength energy. Someone wants to come and look after you. Someone could have been protecting you. In some kind of way. Or feeling like they was. Someone is in love with you. Those of you that are the younger earth sign. Most definitely. Um, but for the collective. So, someone's going to come and gift you something. Or like. Come and tell you that they love you. But maybe quite softly. You know. It's someone that. Wouldn't commit. Wouldn't commit, couldn't commit, didn't commit. Show me this eight of wands, please, for Taurus. Thank you. Right, okay, so you're being told to, or you are already are going to, is pay attention to what you say back. 
or don't reply straight away. Because messages coming in with this Eight of Wands and then the Seven of Pentacles, so you're, you know, read it more than once. Read the messages more than once. Okay. The wheel. And death. Wow. So, again, huge transformations, karmic cycles, one's ending and new one's beginning. And this is about you being focused on that. So when messages come in, focus on... The timing, the, the destined rebirth. <laughs> because the Seven of Pentacles, it's all about, you know, taking your time. Maybe you should take your time, yeah, don't rush it. Something worth investing in, but, it, you know, don't be rushing it. But it's some kind of transformation, rebirth with death. We're dealing with the Scorpio. Take your time to reply. Take your time to read. Read it more than once. Because someone's going to take a risk and reach out or offer you something, gift you something. You might not see it coming just yet. Might be very strongly hidden behind that moon. Someone's secretively watching you. Okay. Bit weird. Someone's watching you on the sly. Whatever they're seeing is... Got the red in their hands though. So that makes loads of sense, doesn't it? Show me this nine of cups, please. With the Taurus. Well, thank you. The Nine of Cups. Clarified by the Nine of Cups. Okay, so you are both what each other wants. You both want each other. You want each other. It's mutual. The Empress. You want this person. They want you. The King of Swords and um, Justice. Strong Libra energy. Very strong Libra energy with the Empress as well. But listen, someone's about to speak sensibly. Like, talk sense. Someone's about to talk sense to you, about you. Are you like it's just it's justice it's what you deserve those of you that are going through a legal situation you could have a representative here that's going to bring you some kind of wish fulfillment most definitely some kind of nine of cups energy um bonnie's dreaming a little head off if you can hear her but there's some kind of justice coming in from someone that's about to talk sense speak sense stand in their truth with that King of Swords energy. Balance the scales out. It's time to bring that scale back to balance. That was imbalanced once upon a time up here. So they don't like you removing your energy. Because you've stopped feeding this, no doubt. Oh. Someone wants to get their hands all over you. <coughs> Someone just attacks me throat chakra as I said that. Wow, God, Major Arcana. The devil. The lovers. The hangman. The Emperor. Someone's seriously needs to take control of a situation. I said that up here, this dude. Whoever this dude is. They know what they've got to do. It's just now about doing it. And it's like they're building up the minerals to be able to make a move. I was shaking the camera then. Show me this five of swords, please, for Taurus. Oh, I nearly went in my copper. The ten of swords. Someone that's held back since something ended badly. Left you feeling like a piece of shit on the floor. Like, wow. The Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So they're going to gift you something. The Page of Pentacles, it can be quite underwhelming to me. You know, it's a page at the end of the day. It's nice. It's a nice gesture, but it can be a bit underwhelming. Seriously, considering it's following the Ten of Swords. Like, you need to come in with a bit more than that. But it's someone's making that move. There's a bit of fear involved, guys. I'm not going to lie. There's nervousness around it. Absolutely. Approaching you, the situation. And it's only because of how it ended. So it makes sense, but... Someone that's possibly owed you a lot of explanations and just never give you any. They're about to come in and bring them to you. Someone that made some very conscious, deceptive choices. Someone knew what they was doing. It could be a friend involved or something going on at work or um, show me this hierophant please for Taurus. But they're bringing something in <laughs> to you. It's like you've turned your back on this ten of swords, even this major betrayal or this end whatever's ended. Again, this could be multiple situations. 
So all that I've already said in the beginning about you cutting things off left, right and centre or carry on and keep going in the other direction because you're heading in the right way. Absolutely. It's all for your highest good. But there's somebody here that you've not dealt with for a while. They're all over your energy. Show me this hierophant. Thank you. The Knight of Pentacles. So this could be someone that's been away for a while. Drag their feet, the Seven of Swords, because of the deceit. Someone's been embarrassed. One more. Someone's been embarrassed because of what it was that they lied about. That's why they've been away for a while with that Knight of Pentacles. Some of you have taken a little bit of a minute to move on from because it's like you're forever lesson learning. It's like fucking hell again. Again. But it's again, it's all as it should be. Again, giving someone too much benefit of the doubt. Too many people, more than one person. Trying to see the best in people doesn't always work out for us. And there's something like that going on here with this person or more than one. Show me this hierophant, please. Queen of Wands. Someone could have cheated on you. You know? Those of you that have been cheated on in the past, it's maybe took you a while to gather your confidence back because it was majorly affected. Um, but that won't be for everyone. But for others of you, someone either lied about... A Queen of Wands, as I say that, the Three of Swords just jumps out into my hand. So someone could have put you in a third party situation, either cheated on you or made you the Queen of Wands. And whichever way that goes, you've kind of, not struggled, but you've took, it's took a minute for you to kind of get your power back or find your worth, you know, your confidence. Because listen, whatever's happened, especially being who you are, Taurus, it's going to affect you, you know, it's going to make you question yourself. I feel like you've, because now you're in the Hierophant energy, so you've kind of le you've learned and you've grew from it, but this is who this is, this is who this person is. Someone that maybe made you doubt yourself, how you look, your appearance, your power, your value. And for those of you that that doesn't resonate with, it's someone that made you the Queen of Wands. It's the desire, you know, it's the other bitch, the cake. But you've grew and it was again for your best self. For your best self. You could have a lot of people, I swear to God, over this over the weekend as well. I had to check whether I was in a Mercury retrograde, the amount of people from my past that kind of just made contact with me. Um very unexpected there. Um you might be going through a little bit of that as well at the moment, friends from a long time ago, you know, lovers. Family that you've not spoke to for a long time, just people coming out the woodworks and just reaching out to you for whatever way. And it's because you're radiant, it's because you're drawing a lot of people towards you. Um, some of them will stick, some of them won't. Do you know what I mean? You just, I feel like you're learning who your people are massively. Um, going through tests. But there's peace. Some of you could be moving for work or traveling for work. Um, that will be for everyone but your abundance is there but there's also someone from your past Taurus someone that you've already dealt with they're going to be reaching out to you <laughs> so what if, uh, let's get some hidden truth let's see what this person wants to say I hide behind material things yeah I regret lying to you. Mm -hmm. You came closer than anyone. Let's get messages for Taurus, please, Spirit. One of my bulls need to see today. I will wait for a sign from you. Hmm. I replay our conversations over and over. Yep. The cassette. Summit's being replayed. I'm starting to understand our connection. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. So you taught this person something. So you, you could have already been on your journey. You, you're awakening whilst you met this person. Take it as it resonates. So you kind of brought them into your way of seeing and doing. They're following that. You're making them see and perceive shit differently. Show messages for Taurus, please. 
I wish I could take back my words. Mm -hmm. I wish I could take back my words. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you let someone... It's like you've not gone out your way to clear the air with someone or something. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you found out that you was... Or that someone was already in a situation. You've not felt the need to go and justify yourself. Do you know what I mean? Because you've not had to. I regret lying to you. Jeez. So whatever the deception is, they're devastated about it. They got it. They regret doing it. But it's fine. They still knew what they were doing. I am becoming a better person. Oh. So you've done something to this person. <coughs> Throat chakra has been attacked again. They want to tell you this themselves. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, you don't know how you don't know how hard you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Get my words out then, bloody hell. We need to let each other go. So re they're really a to and throw in. Like they can't I mean, they've tried. They probably tried to let you go, but they can't. They can not. They can't. Let's get you some knowledge. Yeah. Let's get you some advice. Well, this is what we've got, guys. I hope it's mid sense. Um Some advice for Taurus. Like this could also be a relationship, a commitment. The high fence also commitment. Do you know what I mean? It's like someone that could have someone wants a commitment with you, and it's someone that's been a liar in the past. And it's like you've glowed the fuck up, and it's like shit, I shouldn't have done that. Someone thought the grass was green on the other side. Absolutely was not. It was brown as fuck. Brown and dusty. <laughs> I don't know if I cut the back then, so I'll do it again. Let's get messages for Taurus. <clears throat> messages for Taurus spirit. What did I need to see? Personal issue reaches a resolution. Personal issue reaches a resolution. Full moon in Cancer. And show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Cancer or an Aquarius or have that in your chart. Let's get one more. Own this transition. Own the ascension that you're going through. Own cutting people off. Own it. Own it, own it, own it. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Could be dealing with Leo or have Leo in your chart. So listen, as shit as it is, when you when you are cutting people off left, right and centre, it's necessary. So just accept that, go with it, embrace it. You know, your destination, go back to the postcard from spirit. Des the happiness doesn't just arrive like that, you know. Um, so own whatever you're going through, Taurus. That's all I can say. But as you're doing that, someone is all over you. The answer is you need to come in, full moon in Gemini. So is that why you're cutting a lot of people off? Someone is trying to work out how they're going to come back towards you, basically. But this is what we got, my darlings. I love you all loads. Like, share, comment and subscribe if you have not yet. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to those of you that have had patience again. Thank you to those of you that have sent well wishes and um, your nice emails. Don't stop them. <laughs> it's the needy fuckers that can stop. Um, and thank you for your donations as well. Always, always, always more than appreciated, especially at this time. Um, I'm a little bit about two or three days behind in personal readings. Nothing major at all. Um, so yours, you you know, you're, you're in my diary, guys. Um so just be patient. My readings are quite detailed and long, and so um, if you want a good reading, then trust the timing of it, okay? I know a lot of you do. Literally, the rants are for one or two of you. It's not the collective at all. So I love you all millions, and I will see you all tomorrow. I think that's all I had to say.
I think. I think, I think, yeah. But love you all. See you tomorrow. Bye, babies.